What up, y'all? This is your boy Lucha Guy, and I'm back with another video. Happy 4th of July, y'all, and y'all be safe. I want to thank everybody who commented on my last video about the uh, Lucha Underground spinoff, the Aztec Underground roster video. Um, it, it Hit like and subscribe, and Monster Lucha Slam, that like and subscribe button. I'm going to start saying that early, because I know by the end, a lot of y'all probably cut the hell out of here anyway. I actually want to do a video about this Karen, talk about this Karen, but I'm going to squeeze this Karen movie into the um into something about ML. W July 10th. This movie got a lot of people mad. I'm, I'm not a guy who sees a lot of movies. I'm actually, this movie I actually think will be bad and good. I think it actually is going to, this is to me more relevant and um, I think it's more realistic compared to what's these other movies that's out now? Fast and Furious. I'm also secure. I think Fast and Furious should have ended three, four movies ago. After Paul Walker died, it could have did one more and they could have wrapped it up because The Rock and Vin Diesel, they don't even get along at this point. And then after throwing in John Cena, who I heard didn't do much in a movie, a lot of people said the movie sucked it was number boring flashback scenes so yeah if i mean fast and furious got in this low they can just end the whole series but i don't even care for that i actually think that this karen movie i don't get the hate i mean i understand why it's, it's hate a lot of people are mad that bet's doing a movie about racism because bet i don't know they're mad at stars for having shows like p valley and power but stars is right now catering to black people better than bet ever has anyway but a karen movie i think maybe this could have came out maybe two years ago even i mean it's better late than never i think it went better if this was done by somebody like the wayne's brothers or something like the um don't be a menace or something this was done actually like a comedy they're actually trying to make this a serious movie and that's probably the most hilarious part about it but uh and there's no release date if you guys know anything about a release date on this karen movie let me know down below but the real part of the pur purpose of this video is the predictions for next saturday's um uh, mlw battle riot so Caesar Dorn will arrive. I don't think he's gonna do anything big. I think he might go out there and talk how he similar to how he was popping up at AAA shows when Lucha Underground first started. He might actually say, you know, MLW wrestlers are welcome to join this Azteca Underground and this and that. My main prediction for um MLW Battle Riot is that I expect an official, an official announcement of what Azteca Underground really is, and it's gonna be a new basically version of Lucha Underground, a new TV drama series. I don't even know a lot about my my knowledge on the MLW promotion is probably not that great. I could assume Battle Riot, because this reminds me of the Royal Rumble 2001 poster. I would assume that Battle Riot is done on the level of the Royal Rumble. If you guys know a lot about MLW, let me know down below. Is it really their version of a Royal Rumble? I don't really know what to expect or predict with this show other than more of Azteca Underground stuff because they're advertising advertising Caesar Dorn. There's a lot of people speculating there will be a huge Lucha Underground presence there. That's going to be my main reason why I'm watching this for the Azteca Underground stuff. Because the guy who plays Luis Fernandez Gill and now Caesar Dorn... He, I mean, the guy who played Dario Credo, or C, um, the guy who played Cesar Dorian and Dario Credo, Luis Fernandez Gill, he actually made a tweet saying that he knows pro, pro wrestling's been boring, and basically since Lucha Underground went off the air, he didn't say it, but he actually made a tweet stating that in another way, that he knows that pro wrestling's been so boring, no violence, no Lucha, and yeah, I mean, uh, 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 there's no huge, I think that could come in her favor, because what is the big deal, uh, AEW, and the excuse is, oh, AEW's new, AEW has been around now almost two years. Come October, it's been two years. So what, that, how long it got to take AEW to get their shit together? I don't expect them right away to be a threat, but AEW already, me, they dropped the ball hard. It's like, how are they ever going to recover from that? I think everybody already seen what they've done. They Now they're just signing too many ex WWE guys. But they got Big Show, Christian. Like what TNA did, this job was laughing. I don't see a lot of the same retirement old folks home name calling that y'all was giving TNA. But, Alan, like I said, I'm glad that there's no big threat out there, not even WWE at this point. Because this is going to come in a favor, at least because last time, everybody was hyping up NXT. NXT ain't even what it once was anyway, like five years ago, when Lucha Underground should have been getting that buzz. So now there's not a big threat out there anyway, and this could come into Azteca Underground's favor. 
And last, I know a lot of y'all always ask me in the comments, is Lucha Underground coming back? If Lucha Underground ever came back, it'll have to be under, it'll have to be by MGM at this point. I don't even know if Eric Van Wagen is still over there. And another thing about Lucha Underground coming back, the guy that played, uh, um, the guy that played Dario Cueto, he's now playing Caesar Dorn in MLW. So who will even be the boss this time around over in um Lucha Underground? If the original series does come back, who, uh, Antonio Cueto, that sucked. And that's the same actor anyway, Katrina. I'll do a video about her soon, but her schedule now is going to be very busy. And like to me, she doesn't want to be involved anyway in anything to do with uh, pro wrestling. So that's about it with this video. Y'all can let me know y'all um expectations for this um Azteca um underground or not Azteca underground. Let me know y'all expectations for MLW Battle Riot July 10th. Let me know y'all expectations on that down below. And um peace. But like I said, Lucha Underground to me, the original series is about dead. It's either Azteca Underground at this point. The only thing I will say that the door is still open, at least Mil Mortez, his whole character is still connected to um, Lucha Underground. So Mil Mortez is the only thing that's still a little bit got the door still open for a possible Lucha Underground return or Lucha Underground still in the same universe as MLW now and Azteca Underground. But peace.